You got a driver's license? Yeah, I do, but I didn't get put over. It doesn't matter. Stop. Shane here. It's giveaway time. How would you react if you had this interaction with the police? Tell us your thoughts about recording the police in the comments down below. Take it away, Rich. When do you need to show the police your identification? Hello, this is attorney Rich Gillardi with Shane Smith Law. We're gonna watch a video to find out just when you need to show the police your identification. You got a driver's license? Yeah, I do, but I didn't get put over. It doesn't matter. I'm asking you for a driver's license for an ID to verify who you are. Okay, but what That's crime? What crime are we investigating? What crime? Wait, what crime do you uh, commit? What crime do you com uh, suspect me of committing? Let me get what crime your do you driver's suspect license. Me of committing? Let me get your ID to okay. verify who you but are. But you need a crime. You, you need don't a crime. need a yes, crime. So as you can see from this video, the officer is asking this gentleman to provide an ID. He does make an important statement at the beginning. He said, "I wasn't pulled over," and as we'll see from the video. He was not part of a motor vehicle violation, which is an important distinction in providing identification to law enforcement. Let's continue to watch the video. Not yes, to, in not, public. No, no, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Thank you. I appreciate you, boss. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, what's your name, sir? What's your badge number? I appreciate you. You're awesome, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. All we're doing is breaking up a fight and y'all pulling us over. So as we can see, as the video continues, this gentleman was just breaking up a fight and the police officer who initially was on the scene asked him to provide identification. Under North Carolina law, you do not have to provide identification to the police unless you're pulled over regarding a motor vehicle violation. So when this gentleman at the beginning of the clip stated that he wasn't pulled over because of a motor vehicle violation, he was correct. She asked him for his ID for no reason other than him just being in the scene of a fight and he was within his rights to not provide the identification. However, if it was a motor vehicle violation, he would certainly have to provide his identification upon request from law enforcement. Additionally, he can't resist arrest. So if the situation escalates and the police would ask for an identification as the situation evolves, then perhaps he may have to provide it. But from what we saw here, he did not have to provide an identification. He was within his rights. Hey, don't forget, Comment down below for your chance to win. If you like your friends, you could forward this to them to give them a chance too, or maybe not. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more chances to win. Good luck. In pain, so I call Shane. Nine eight zero nine 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 nine. In pain, call Shane.